Porsche, Audi, General Motors, and other established automakers are attempting to compete with Tesla by introducing flashy new electric vehicles. But Lucid Motors may be the first upstart to provide serious challenge to the Tesla Model S. With many annotations and estimations are visible to investors, which is a good start. However, when the company boasts of being first in multiple categories and comparisons, this increases the risk associated with the plausibility of their pitch. However, Lucid is keeping its promises for now. In today's video, we will go through EPA range results of Lucid and their range test drive of a prototype. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. In both luxury and electric vehicle segments, the Lucid Air is a game changer. It redefines luxury. The Air is designed to combine enticing performance and internal space with an aesthetic that resembles a high-performance sports car thanks to downsizing of critical drivetrain components. The company's powertrain and battery pack technologies are important differentiators, with the battery technology having driven more than 20 million real-world miles since its beginnings. The Lucid Air model has piqued everyone's interest, and they've been waiting to find out how far it can travel. The wait is finally over. However, before we get to the results, let's talk about the process. Allow us to demonstrate what is the EPA estimated range and how these range estimates are calculated. What is the EPA estimated range? For the sake of simplicity, this is the approximate amount of miles that a car can drive in city and highway driving. The track for testing is a mix of 55% highway and 45% city driving before requiring recharging, according to the Environmental Protection Agency's methodology. But more specifically, what is the approach for testing? First, the vehicle is completely charged and then left overnight parked. Next day, the car is driven on a dynamometer, which is similar to a car treadmill and mimics the road of city and highway until the battery is completely exhausted on the test. A correction factor is applied to the overall distance driven, and the result is a more accurate representation of what drivers may expect to achieve in the real world, according to the EPA. The number of driving cycles determines the correction factor's value, which is always greater than zero but less than one. Shortly said, there is clearly a method to the EPA's madness, but the process is primarily conducted in labs, and electric vehicle owners don't drive their vehicles in labs. Lucid EPA Results The test gave us a glimpse into the future that Lucid has in store for us. Later on, the Environmental Protection Agency would supervise and certify the results from the test. The raw range of the Lucid FEV, according to the finding summary, is 738 miles on a single charge. This was then multiplied by the adjustment factor of 0.7 to arrive at the final result of 517 miles on a single charge. This correction factor has contributed to the downfall of numerous electric vehicles, most notably the Porsche Taycan Turbo, whose estimated range was 287 miles, before being reduced to 207 miles after being subjected to the EPA correction factor. Lucid, on the other hand, was not affected by the correction factor and was able to achieve results in excess of 500 miles, which is remarkable for an electric vehicle. Even if that number of miles still gives you range anxiety, Lucid engineered a 900-volt-plus electrical architecture. According to the company, some variations of the Lucid Air will be able to charge to a sufficient level to go 300 miles in around 20 minutes. The ultimate measure of EV technology is efficiency, and Lucid claims that its technology is at the forefront of the market in this regard, with a predicted efficiency of more than 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour for some variants of the Lucid Air. The Lucid Air's aerodynamic design gives longer range, faster charging, and the possibility to provide equal range with a smaller, less expensive battery pack. In real-world applications, the company has perfected the battery technology over many years with millions of miles of vehicle test driving and supplying the battery to the major electric vehicle racing series. Track Drive That's not all either. Lucid, apart from the EPA range test, 
also performed a physical test drive for performance testing on air prototypes by the range test team. On the test track, there were two different prototypes. Kim had his first look of the interior in the first production representative air that Rawlinson drove for a spin, and he exclaimed, quote, The interior was beautiful. The second vehicle served as a test vehicle. This vehicle featured two motors, one in the front and one in the back, both about the size of a squashed volleyball. Each of its motors was capable of producing 600 horsepower, but the combined output was limited by the amperage of the battery. According to Kim, the car weight could be felt over the corner with a hint of understeer and an electric cannon-like acceleration into corners. Lucid exceeded the range of the Tesla Model S of 402 miles, with 16% of the battery remaining in the tank. Kim was tired of pushing the car to the boundary, raised the white flag, and left the car with a 7% stubborn battery. Later that night, another fresh Lucid driver took the car off and eventually ended the experiment at 492 kilometers. It was not the EPA laboratory's experimental range of 517 miles, but the car achieved 95% of that range while driving in the hills at heat of the world. The Lucid range test did manage to challenge the human endurance of driving for hours as Kim waved the white flag. The average human drives about 30 miles a day. Lucid Marketing Lucid was able to travel 492 miles on a physical test, which is still impressive considering it's a prototype. Nonetheless, this range superiority is exactly what they've been using as a part of their marketing campaign against all electric vehicle producers. If it holds, the EPA 517 mile statistic from this large scale battery air variant will push the model into one of the highest range EVs in the market. In Tesla's 12 years of manufacturing, no one in the EV market has come close to being able to compete with them. However, with Lucid knocking at Tesla's door for that range competition, it appears that things are about to change. And it wouldn't be by a small margin either. The range gap between the two vehicles would be 115 miles, or 29% more than the 402 miles previously certified for the Model S Long Range Plus. That S model was also able to achieve these figures under the supervision of Rawlinson who also served as the car's chief engineer. Adding a little pinch of salt to the wound? Even the normal battery version of the Air, which will be available later, will have a range of 400 miles, according to Lucid. The Conclusion When it comes to electric vehicles, range anxiety is generally defined as a vague fear that a vehicle will not be able to manage all of the driving they wish to accomplish before running out of battery power. It is frequently cited as a major impediment to mainstream EV adoption. According to the rationale, more consumers would purchase electric vehicles if they had greater confidence in the charging infrastructure or the range of the vehicle. As a result, there is something of a worldwide arms race to see who can build the most powerful electric vehicle that can travel the greatest distance on a single charge. It seems as though every startup has been screaming for a breakthrough in battery technology that will allow them to increase the range of their vehicles while simultaneously increasing the life of their batteries. As part of the company's commitment to excellence, Lucid believes that the Air model will set the standard for future Lucid products and experiences by combining art and science to willfully exploit the promise of electrification. What are your thoughts? Would you be comfortable with a range of 490 miles? Let us know in the comment section. Sugmik wanted to know about EPA updates. We were unable to inform you at the time because the information was not certified to the public, but I hope this video has clarified your questions. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.